Hi everyone, I'm going to do the second claw for today. Uh, this one will be in acrylic and um, it's going to be monochrome in black and white. So um, hopefully to achieve day and night. Uh, it's just a, a paw. So um, the mixture I've got is 70% um, 70, 70 glue and 30% water. And then I've mixed this with 50-50 of paint. So, um, I'll get on with this. So, I'll, I'll just show you the consistency, which is, I've got, uh, see if you can see it. So, it's just, um, it's just making a mound in the cup and then slowly disappears. So we'll see how this goes. Of course, if you don't see, you know it hasn't turned out. <clears throat> right. I didn't want that, but can't be helped. Two, three, black. I'll try and be as quick as I can with these. I've got my cups too full. <laughs> this reminds us of the minions I did, which I am going to have another go at. Um, where you, you pour a scholar master medium and a little bit of acrylic uh, mixed with acrylic 50-50 and uh, mix the same way with the glue 70-30, 50-50 and then um, just drop some ink in but it does actually work with uh, glass paint as well uh, to drop glass paint in I should think any Thin mixed paint would go. And I got some nice patterns, I got some nice light tree shapes, and I got loads of eyes, faces. So I called it the minions. So I will be doing uh, more of them, I'll be experimenting more with those. Oh, one. <laughs> It's already coming down the, off the end. I'll just lift that over the finger there. It leans this bench a bit, so I meant to put a, a stick again underneath it, which I never. <coughs> I 
Do one more one little gears, I think that we run. I'm trying to count how many I've got on each one. <laughs> so the black is it now. Sounds white there, one black here, I think. I could do it going back on the video to have a look. Do not as many on this side. Never mind. We make a nice pen wherever. I should think. Probably have it wrong. Right. I forget which side I put the black. Right, I'm going to wizard around. <clears throat> Come to me first. Excellent. And back again. Just moved around. I meant to charge it actually. I know it a bit further this way and I'll charge before I go any further. Let's see if I get any cells through. There is a few repairing, I forgot how the cells. How you do. So we have got a few there. <coughs> and I think I was too fast in starting to move it around. Should have waited for the small ones to appear. I've got a few there. I'm going to give it a little blast anyway, see if I go any. I'm going to be quick actually because I've still got the hole in the middle. I want to get that covered over as fast as I can. The reason being, I want, I want this pattern to run in to the centre. And hopefully it stays like that. Right, I'll just uh, take this glove off. This is about, um, I've done about eight clocks up to now. Different ones. I've, I've just done one glass one earlier on, which I'll, uh, I've got a video on to match the courses I did. So um, hopefully, come on, run there. So hopefully, um, I hope you can see this all of you. And then I'll run this back. I'm hopefully to go it all into the centre now. Get them lines lined up into the centre. Just that bit black. We always have a little bit, don't you? 
I'm going to go right this time. Right, I don't want to lose any more of that. I think that's about it. I don't want to lose any more. It's all going into the centre where I wanted it to do. <coughs> to have night and day. Right, quickly put a, a bit of tape on underneath. That's not really good, this tape. That's the only problem. Oh, God. I'm going to give my arms it. I don't know. Yeah, that's nice, that. I like that. Let's hope that stays like that. I think I might take a bit black further over there. Um, because I've got more white. Got more white than black shown. And just down a bit more. Just so it goes back to the old, to the centre. Yeah, that's beautiful, that. I like that. And I have got a few cells. It was only old uh, white paint I had standing for about three days. And um, I mixed some blue and black together. So it's like a blue black. <coughs> but it's more, um, you know, it is black. But uh, I don't like just plain black. I like to mix colour in with it as well. So, um, I'll give this a little torch, make sure there's no bubbles, again. I've got to be careful here because I've got um kitchen roll underneath, <laughs> don't want to have a fire. That's lovely, I'm hoping that stays. I'm hoping that stays like that. <clears throat> so I'll go around the, the edges. Um, I'll go around all the edges with the, and get all the excess off. And um, I might leave it on the bench overnight. Uh, the way it is, I can of see, there's only this little bit here dropping, dripping there. I can see a load coming off at the moment. So if I move it, I might just spoil it. I might just knock it all out. I love this one. I'll do more of these. I did a beautiful one of um, black, white and uh, yellow ochre. Uh, and a bit of rust. Like a rust colour, it was um, burnt sienna. So I had burnt sienna and yellow ochre and black and white. And uh, it was it was one of the best I've done actually. And um, on my easel here, I had the big uh, canvas and I had two smaller ones side by side. And it had been there, they'd been there about well over a week standing there and I had the clock drying on a table next to us, a lower table and all of a sudden a, a, one of the canvases um, it was a, a deep canvas as well it, it just fell off and it went sideways right in the middle of the clock I felt like crying <laughs> I honestly felt like crying but um it's one of them things, isn't it? I say so. I, I actually ruined. Well, it was two clocks actually. I actually ruined two clocks. Well, it had gone sideways on two clocks. And I actually ruined uh, two clocks and the canvas because all the canvas had the yellow ochre on the side and on some of the painting. Yeah, so. I was absolutely gutted, so that was three things I'd ruined, you know. Well, I didn't ruin I, I think it was a Portuguese, what's in here? <laughs> I always say there's a Portuguese in. Right, I'll bring it down there for close-up with this. And then I'll get tidied up. And then go and have a nice shower. 
right so i have got a few cells appearing there some nice cells all around the canvas they all seem to be mainly on the edges don't they and i've got some going in the middle as well and that's the center all going to the the middle so yeah i like this design i will be doing a lot more of these and clocks i think it suits the clock shape Yes, I'm quite pleased with this. Absolutely thrilled. There's yes, some big ones there appearing at the end. Beautiful they are. Don't with any more come, you know. Time will tell. I just hope, hope it stays the shape and it doesn't run. I would like, to, like it to stay the shape. I'll be off the moon. And then it will be resined afterwards. Uh, okay, thank you again for watching. Um, if, if you would like please like the video and then um, if you like it and please subscribe i am just starting a new channel up and then um, i am going to demonstrate quite a bit with them um, different things which i have done with the glass paint i am the only artist doing uh, the pause in the glass at the moment so i would like to um to get the channel running and uh, demonstrate a lot more I am a, tr a traditional artist of 30 years and this is all new to me so it's uh, something different, something exciting uh, and something for to learn with you, you know, to learn as I go along. So thank you very much and uh, thank you for watching again.